Hello everybody, this is Robert. Um, I have a, a, a technology review. This is the, probably the first re technology review that I have. So, I want to review this. The LG Sunrise. This is a GSM phone with a SIM card in the back. And here is the back side of that with with a 3.0 megapixel camera and and a speaker grill right there 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 may be a front-facing camera but I haven't been able to use it yet um, mo mostly for like Skype calls or um, other calls um, this this is the operating system is is a Google Android operating system, 4.4 uh, KitKat. Um, and it's actually, and it has a dual, a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, which is much better than the phone I previously had, which was the Samsung Galaxy Centura. And this, the carrier for, for this mobile phone is a, is track phone. And you, that that is a pay-as-you-go like and basically for smartphones like this your minutes you basically when you buy like a certain amount of minutes you actually it actually gets split into three different distinct categories and I'll try to put some captions for those categories um, you got your uh, minutes of talk time, text messages, and data in megabytes. So let's save, and this is a triple. This has the triple minute benefit for for the track phone company. So um, basically, if you get 120 minutes, which is about I think 30 bucks for a triple for a 120 minute card. So um, I don't have one of those with me, but it comes with the phone. And here's the charger, USB, and here's the micro USB to USB cable right here. And this just plugs into the charger. Went the wrong way. There we go. Plugs into the charger, and that's how you charge your phone. Charge the phone. As I mentioned, it has um, it. Um, I believe it has one gigabyte of RAM, but I'm not quite sure. Um, it does have GPS, and and that combined with a decent processor. It's a, it's super fast. So let me see if I can. This is what I have with the phone on, and as you can see, it's pretty snappy. And I just tapped on an app, and as you know, um, in this building there's not much cell signal, but this is a very sensitive capacitive touchscreen. And really decent, quick, and it's like ten dollars as of uh, December thirtieth. It may have gone up since then, or I don't know. Has a three point zero megapixel camera on the front, and possibly a zero point three megapixel camera on the front. And. And there are many various apps that you can put. Right now, I ha as you can see, I have a, a group me message. Okay, this is uh, all the notifications, including weather and what services are on. Let you know, for example, Wi-Fi. It's Wi-Fi capable, mobile data capable, and as I said, GPS capable. And 
I also have a, a pedometer app and a battery saver app. Also a clock and a brightness level. And yes, it does well with ringtones. For example, this Zedge here. This Zedge here. You can you can use ringtones from Zedge, from the Zedge app, for for your for your contacts or whatever you need. Um, it also has a My Account app from Track Phone that you can track your minutes, texts, and data. As I as I mentioned earlier, if you have like if you buy a 120 minute card, you get 100 you get 120 times three minutes and the same amount of text messages and megabytes of data so if you get 120 minutes you if you buy that card and you and you uh, put in the uh, pin code which is about 15 to 18 um, digits with full of it's alphanumeric digits um, you would have 120 times 3, which is 360 minutes of talk time, 360 text messages, and 360 megabytes of data. I mostly use... The only reason why I would personally would get data, like a separate data card, you know, prepaid data card, would be for GPS, you know, finding someone's house or something, for a Bible study or something or find a specific location of of a work building things like that and also uh, I use a little bit for like messaging you know Facebook Messenger group me which which is an app for for group and that sound you just heard is the battery low sound, so I'll have to charge this thing after I'm done. But um, has the group me app for uh, like basically sending group text messages without, and you can that's Wi-Fi or um, 4G. And this yes, this is a 4G capable phone. And also has a task. It kind of has a button. The buttons here are um, the back button, the home button, which has like three or four home screens, and a tasks manager, which tell, which kind of, kind of tells you what tasks are running, and you can just swipe to the left or right to get rid of a task, and that what I've been doing. Um, of course has the stock Android KitKat software so it does pretty much has the, most of the functionality of Android that you would come to expect except I don't think it has M NFC but I didn't I really don't care about NFC anyway it's a little creepy Although it can be very useful from time to time, this this phone has a 3.8 inch uh, capacitive touchscreen, and which is a little bit bigger than not only my previous phone, but also also the original iPhone, all the way up to like the fourth generation iPhone. In fact, it's bigger than my iPod, t my fourth generation iPod Touch. Um, now, for the, I actually, and also it comes with a four gigabyte uh, micro SD card, which is super super handy. And for a cheap, for a price, for a phone that is initially pretty cheap, the only trouble I've had was really with track phone track phone for uh, not for you know basically just porting my number from my, my previous phone to this phone and I didn't have trouble with that but I had trouble with porting 
uh, transferring all the minutes, text, and data to my new phone. As I mentioned, there's um, a way. There are two ways to actually to actually track your minutes, text, and data. One is from the uh, the app. And let me. You can change the wallpaper, of course. And yes, it has an alarm clock. It's a, as you can see, it's. I'm just exiting out an application, and it's taken a short while, but it works. The my account, well, yeah, true. The my account, this you see the that one, right there, can track your minutes. Or you can go to the phone and dial specific um, code, and it will it'll give it to you that way. Messaging app is very clean and um, very very good quality. You can send SMS or MMS. Well, SMS is uh, text messages. Um, that was Facebook Messenger. If you heard that. Um, also MMS which is multimedia messaging and it's very good at that. Yeah, um, other than that I mean there's a settings right there on the home screen and your contacts is right there and you, you can import all your apps from uh, Google and this is where all you have all your apps and widgets and things like that. So, also a QR code reader. You can download that ringtone maker. There, even mic to speaker. There's plenty of apps, and of course you can use the camera. Other than that, that's pretty much it. And you can track the weather, things like and things like that. So, of course, with Google Maps, Google Hangouts, you know everything Google that you come to expect. The only issue, the only issue I really had with this phone that has nothing to do with track phone is sometimes in when it's in my pocket, it does it does heat up a little bit. So, so do be careful. It also has a uh, volume control right up here, up and down, and of course the expected power button on the side, and a 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack. And the microphone is down here, and there's the uh, micro USB for charging and data transfer, and and surprisingly, my previous the case that I got for my previous phone still works on this phone. So I'm able to do that and yeah the, and there's the there's a battery in here. Sorry for being long but okay. Battery is a LG lithium ion battery. 3.7 volt and it's a minimum typically 1540 milliamp hours or a Mac minimum of 1500 milliamp hours. So uh, it's a lithium ion battery, of course. And there's your micro SD card slot, your uh, the battery that I'm taking out, and right here is the SIM card. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If so, please give it a big thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, just let me know in the comments. And subscribe to my channel, please. Woo! So, there you go. So, that's it for my review. Have a great day. Goodbye!